Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Daily Options Trade. Today I have switched accounts. You can see I'm at Trade Station. Um, I have an uh, option that needs attention uh, that's expiring this week, so I uh, swapped over. My buying power is a little lower than I'd like it to be in my Thinkorswim account. So I'm going to take care of this option today. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'll go here, go to options. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Markets are uh, up and down, all crazy. Uh, you can see here, uh, I think it's beyond. Uh, beyond has been up and down quite a bit. It dipped down to 50 and it's been up to a couple hundred. Uh, so I've had various positions on. But uh, this most recent position, I had a 138 cost. It was kind of low, so I put a call on. And uh, now you can see it's expiring this week. So I need to do something with it. So I'm going to roll it. Click on there, say roll. So you can see I can get a uh, $2.30 credit if I just roll it a week straight out. See if I can put the call price up a little. $155. So it's actually $255 basically. If I go up another one. That's pretty good. Considering it's 139. <clears throat> now, if I go out further, uh, I'll go 35. Uh, still 100 bucks, but I get 400 in the call, so that's 500. That's actually pretty decent. I'm going to go back to last, to next week. Oh, that's not going to work out. Now the volatility is a little higher, that's why I'm able to do this. Because it came just came down from 170-ish air or something like that. I'm going to go back and look at the chart. Mid price, 88 cents. All right. Go here. This is pretty good. So I'm gonna send this order. View order. Didn't execute. Let's try one fifty one. Looks like the market's pretty tight here. It's not reading my orders. Well, let's try this. 145. I think I'm chasing it here. I definitely don't want to pay for this option. It's 65 cents. Uh, wow. I might have to go out another week to get what I want here. Alright, we'll cancel it. You can see here I have some stop loss orders in. It's because the market's pretty volatile right now. Could crash any day potentially. Boeing. Uh, this so this account's a little larger than my other accounts. This is an IRA, uh, so I have to stay a little safer with this one. So you can see the it's 
some higher quality companies. I'm going to go out to the monthly expiration, 35. do that. I want some more cash than that. Two hundred bucks for the week. That's uh almost two hundred hundred ninety dollars. It's pretty good if I can get it. Probably going to be around 150 That's my guess, or I'm just going to execute. $71. Try 66 Hey. Yeah. Picked up 66. You can see it filled. Nice. Alright, I'll take that. It's good. <coughs> see, I've got coals here. Um, let's see. Let's see, riot's about done. Stock has really taken off. I should have bought that stock when it was 20. Instead of putting the put on. Silver, I had a big bet in silver. I thought for sure this thing was going to go up. The way silver's been acting, I'm not sure where the disconnect is between the hard assets and the uh, ETFs, but I'm making a little bet. I do have a little silver position on 200 longs. So, all right, we'll see how that goes. Urban outfitters, Let's see, repair, X, US Steel. Oh, it's my one of my favorite companies. Should have grabbed a lot more when it was cheaper, but uh. All right, so my daily goal here is $400, I think I said. Boeing, I'm going to be selling another call on there pretty soon. Actually, maybe today's the day, because I want to reduce my position there. It's a lot to have out, hanging out there with Boeing. So, do a uh, quote on Boeing. Do a March expiration. Let's look at 240. Sounds reasonable. Let's go for 790. I'm selling a covered call basically. Look, didn't execute too far away. Whoa, now it says mid price is eleven seventy five. That doesn't even sound right. Uh, hmm. There might be something wrong with the software. I'm not sure what's going on. Pretty sure that's not gonna to work out. So let's go, if I get $9 out of it, that'd be awesome. There's no way that's happening. Um, hmm. Let's go down here. 
Just add some to this. 790 is where we started. Still not, not closing out. I'm not sure why the spread is so big on Boeing right now. Looks like I filled at 790. I'm not sure where that eleven dollars is coming from. It's pretty crazy. Let's see, it's eight twenty seven sixty five. We could go out another month, get more, but not really worth it. Right. So I'll go back to my orders. See, I've accomplished my goal for the day. I've got a covered call on Boeing for seven ninety. <clears throat> and beyond. You can see my put for Boeing is doing pretty good. I had made it, that's been rolling for a few months now. So uh, hopefully Boeing will stay above 230 so that put will just go away. And uh, we'll be able to probably roll that later. We'll see what happens. American, a little bit of American. I was dumping American, selling calls against it. I've been getting out of that position uh, with the airlines the way they are. Uh, Cleveland Cliffs, really good company. I had loaded up on it, and I've been selling it off as it's been going up a little bit. Uh, put some uh, trailing stops on it. And it's, they've executed, obviously. Had about a thousand shares. So, see how that goes. Anyway, we'll review this more next week and uh, do some more trading. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll get some more daily trades. So, uh, let's make some money. Thanks for watching.